Hey y'all, it's your girl Zayan and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am going to be giving you guys a supplies haul for the upcoming 2021 to 2022 school year and also a backpack haul. Then I'll also be going over anything I may have bought for the upcoming school year. But before we get into what I have for the upcoming school year, make sure you like this video, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you follow all my social medias down below in the description as always. So this is my backpack it is a adidas backpack i think it's the adidas load spring just black backpack it's done me pretty well so far i'm just gonna be using it again we can just go ahead get started i think we should probably go through the biggest pocket so i have this little pocket in my backpack where i would usually put my computer case i don't have one currently in this little slot but that is where it would go this is my binder i also used this binder last year and i think it's still in great shape still looks brand new functionality over aesthetics period this is the inside of my binder the first thing that you see in my binder is this little five star like pencil pouch and five star is a really good quality brand i've always loved five star products so i definitely feel like this will be in great use for the school year and so it has a pocket that has like a little see-through area and then it has another pocket that doesn't have anything in there but it has the main pocket and this pocket i just have my earbuds for my computer pens and pencils and then in the main pocket, I have colored pens, highlighters, whiteout, a glue stick from last year, a Sharpie, and then I have my scissors. That is pretty much everything that's in my pencil pouch. After my pencil pouch, I just have notebook paper, and after you have this little stack of notebook paper, we have my schedule slash sheet protectors. So I put a couple of sheet protectors in my binder just in case when I get like my syllabuses for my classes or any other like really important documents, I can keep them in there. I currently have my schedule and my binder for the first sheet protector. I went over my schedule in my last video, which was the get ready with me for high school orientation vlog and stuff after. If you kind of want to hear me go into detail about my schedule, click on that video in the eye right here. It'll be linked in this little like eye area in that general corner. <laughs> um, after the sheet protectors, we have my pocket dividers. And it just goes in the order of all my classes. Um, I don't have anything else in my binder. And so we can go ahead and get into everything else. The next thing that I have in my backpack is just like paper thin binder. My English teacher said that we need a small binder. I just pretty much have the rest of my paper that I got. Um, I only got one pack of college ruled notebook paper because I don't use a lot of paper. So I definitely think I'll be okay, at least for the first semester. That is pretty much it. The next thing that I have is my band folder. If you didn't know, I play bass clarinet and I've been in band since I was in sixth grade. That's the instrument that I play if you just wanted to know about that. On the front, I have my school's alma mater and then I just have some scale exercises. After that, we just have some concert pieces that we've played so far. After my band folder, I just have these two notebooks. They're both five star. And so I just have this navy blue one and this black one and they are both college ruled. After those two notebooks, I have this smaller notebook. And it just says notebook on the front. Really, really, really cute. And then I kind of have my planner slash gratefulness journal. This is from Five Below. And on the front, it just says anything can happen. And it kind of has like a little gradient ombre type of vibe. So they have like the whole like calendar overview and like to-do list. But then they also have some reflections for the past month. So accomplishments, what, what, what I'm grateful for, accomplishments, some notes, reflections, and what I love for the past month. And then also I can write everything that I'm grateful for um, at the beginning of the day for each day for the month. 
and then also it goes bi-weekly and so it has every single day of the week it's kind of like a gratefulness journal but then it's also a planner and so i can use it for school stuff but then just everyday life stuff because i definitely want to get more into journaling for the upcoming school year and we can go ahead and get into the second pocket of my backpack in my second pocket of my backpack i have my hearing aid case if y'all don't know i have been hearing impaired since i been born i found out on february 14th 2005 and my birthday is december 18th 2005 so no anyway so i have my hearing aid case i have everything that i need for my hearing aids now we can go ahead and get into the other parts of my backpack i have this really small pocket the only thing i have in the small pocket are just some mechanical pencils, a pen, and highlighters. I just put the stuff that I would reach for a lot in here. I probably will also put my AirPods in here. So that is everything that's in my backpack. Now we can get into the clothing that I got for the upcoming school year. So just to kind of give a little bit of a backstory of my school, I go to a charter school and at my charter school, we have a dress code, a little bit of a rundown. The only bottoms that I can wear are black, khaki, and navy blue. I can wear any color polo shirt, but they have to have a collar. And if it doesn't have a collar, then it could be like a pullover sweatshirt or like a crew neck or something. Or it can be like, there used to have like my school name and logo and stuff like that on it. Any logos on any of my shirts or whatever, they have to be quarter size or smaller. And, um, yeah i don't really have like a uniform per se but we do have a kind of strict dress code that we have to abide by and that's why and that's why a lot of the stuff that you're going to see are going to be more so like uniform type of stuff now we can go ahead and get into the clothes that i got for the upcoming school year and we're going to start off with like cardigans sweaters and crew necks the first sweater that i got is this really cute like baby pink sweater is by time and true i actually thrifted this sweater from goodwill um in fact i think every single sweater that i got is from goodwill except one it's just a really cute cardigan i really hope to wear a lot throughout the school year the next cardigan that i have i actually wore in my flea market summer day in my life video where i went to the flea market and i got vaccinated and much more that video will be featured in the eye corner right here but it's just this really cute like olive green type of cardigan i also thrifted this from goodwill so i only have two pairs of shirts the first one is this really cute like kind of pastel green with purple lining and a purple logo um polo shirt it is by american eagle i did thrift this shirt at goodwill and i just really like the color i don't wear green a lot but i just think it's a really cute shirt and american eagle is a very reputable brand i love their clothing and so i'm really excited to wear this shirt that school year and then the last shirt that i got like i said i only have two polo shirts it's just this really pretty like purple polo shirt it is a little bit longer hopefully it'll shrink in the wash this shirt does say marona for the tag but uh yeah it's just a really cute purple color and i'm also really excited to wear this shirt throughout the school year now we can get into pants i believe almost all of these pants are thrifted but if they're not then i'll just say that they aren't thrifted these pants are thrifted i got these from goodwill the tag says ruby red they're just these khakis the next bottoms I got also from Goodwill. The tag says Ava and Viv. They're just these black jeans. The next bottoms I have are these navy blue kind of like jogger pants. I did get these from Old Navy, so they're not thrifted. The next bottoms I got also aren't thrifted. I got these bottoms from a store named Hamrix, just kind of like a department store, I guess. The tag says Riders by Lee. So there's just some Lee khakis. And again, they're just khaki bottoms. But I just have these navy blue bottoms. The tag says Zach and Rachel. And these aren't thrifted. I don't believe they are. I do think I also got these at the department store Hammerix. But I think they either might be from Hammerix or they might be 
thrifted i'm not exactly sure but it's just like navy blue bottom i don't really wear like a lot of navy blue pants so i'm definitely glad that i got some navy blue pants and then the last pants that i have are just these black um, old navy joggers these aren't thrifted i did get these from old navy they're the same as the navy blue joggers so those are all the pants and now we can get into shoes so I only got two pairs of shoes. The first pairs of shoes that's gonna be in this video are these tan flats. I did thrift these, so these are from Goodwill. And they're such a like, good quality. That's why I was kind of like, these are a steal, I have to get them. So yeah, I just have these flats. Probably the best part of this video and my favorite thing that I've shown you guys throughout this entire video I have a pair of Jordans and they're still in the box. Haven't taken them out in the box yet. So this will be kind of like an unopening a little bit. So this definitely is a little bit lower. Okay, so this setup is definitely a little bit lower than I'm expected. Like I'm used to, but I definitely just kind of want to open this box with y'all being able to see it. So here it is. We have a box. It's right here. We still have the wrapping paper. I haven't told you guys what shoes they are specifically because I'm gonna let you guys see them first. Okay. The last thing that I'm showing you guys out of all the shoes and clothing items I got for this school year. I got the Air Jordan 4's white Oreos, still in the box, and they're probably my favorite shoe that I have so far. So yeah, that's just what they look like. Has the gray Michael Jordan symbol on the back. Sorry, it's raining like super hard. So if you can't really hear me as well, I'm so sorry for that. But on the front, it's just red. The shoe just is mainly white, as you can see has some gray accents, but also has some black um, like paint splatter dots on the gray part. Overall, I'm just super excited to wear these for the first day of school. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in a box. So y'all, that is everything that I have gotten to prepare for the school year. Those are all the clothes I got, the shoes I got, and those are all the school supplies that I also have. For the upcoming school year, I'm really excited for my second year of high school. I'm a sophomore. That feels so crazy to even say, like, I'm a sophomore. Oh my gosh. Um, I still feel like I'm an eighth grader. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell so you can be able to know exactly when I post my videos and such. Make sure you follow all my social medias down below or right here. If you made it this far into the video, make sure you comment this emoji to let me know that you made it this far. Know that you're loved, stay blessed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.